Welcome back to Sero Assist. Today I'm going to be covering the casual league and why you should be entering this league every single week. Before all that, welcome Sero Managers to the Sero Assist YouTube channel. If you do like this video please smash that like button and if you've not signed up to Sir Ray yet sign up to get 13 of these common cards that you can see on screen here and also a limited card after buying your first five cards on auction link is in the description below each month i'll be doing a monthly giveaway for the month of march i'm giving away rio hatate to enter you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below at the end of the month i'll pick a random video posted in march and random select a comment and that person will win that month's card. So the more videos you comment on, the more entries you will have. I'll announce the winner right here at the end of the month, so stay tuned. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, and for more free Sorry content, please check out SorrowAssist.com. Don't forget to grab yourself a 100-page Ulmer Guard to Sorrow ebook as well, and consider becoming a patron of Sorrow Assist for weekly player scouting, or become a member of this YouTube channel. Details using the join button below. Okay, without the way, let's get stuck into today's content then. So I just wanted to do a quick video about the casual league and why it is very important to enter this league every single week. Now, as you can see from my collection here, I've got a number of common cards now in my collection because I've been playing this common league every single week. So I've got a number of fantastic players here, including players like Frank Kessie, Sandro Tonali, Lucas Hernandez, Javier Hernandez, Moussa Dembele, Szymanski, Andy Robertson, Van Crombruge, Orkun Koku of Feyenoord, and also a recent win, Leroy Sané. Now one of the benefits of having these common cards is to enable you to put in a full lineup to a game week. Especially if you're just starting on so rare and you've not been able to get your max 5 rare cards. Because in the rare leagues... You can use one common card in these competitions as i've done in the upcoming game week here in the all-star rare division 4. now i've used this common card because i've not actually got any rare cards that have got a fixture in the upcoming game week another good thing and a very useful part of the common cards is that when you first start on so rare you, if you get a decent keeper in your in your so rare draft when you first sign up to so rare you can actually use that common keeper in your lineup on the rare tournament so then you don't need to buy four rare players instead of shelling out for a goalkeeper majority of the times the goalkeepers are one of the most expensive cards on so rare and the other thing is that the goalkeepers generally don't score that well so you could potentially get a really good goalkeeper here like i've got in van crombruge who's potentially going to be scoring better than some of the teams who, who don't really keep that many clean sheets. So it's a really useful addition to have in your squads. Another reason to enter the Common League is that you can also win prizes. So if we head over to the prize pool here, if we go to the Casual League. Now granted, you're only going to win if you finish in the top three. Now that is a hard thing to do, but obviously this is a free chance of winning a limited card. So I enter this division every single week. I'm not one limited yet, but I'm getting to the stage now where my common cards are that good that I should have a potential chance of potentially winning a tier uh, limited card in this division eventually. Not only that, I'm building up a common collection so that I can use those cards and utilize those cards in the rare division if I'm ever short of a goalkeeper or any other positions in the rare league. Now another good thing about the, the casual league is that you'll win a common card no matter where you finish in the tournament. So if you finish in the bottom 50% you still win a common card. If you finish in the 50-25% you win a tier 1 common card. And if you've managed to finish high up in the rankings in the casual division, you have a chance of winning some superstars like Kylian Mbappe, common card, Gimmich, Messi... Vicious Junior, players like this in the casual league. Now again, you don't need to finish in the top three to win these potential substars. And a lot of these cards are going to probably score a lot more than a lot of the rare cards. Even though the common cards obviously get a minus 40% reduction on the score. But some of these high scoring players are going to score better than some of your rare cards. And obviously these common cards don't cost you anything. Another imp important thing to mention as well about the common cards 
is that you can also train the common cards up in the training league. This is obviously going to increase the XP of the cards and in turn increase the power of the cards as well. So as you can see I've got some pretty good XP bonuses now on these and as these cards are not sellable so these are not, cards are not NFTs and these are obviously going to stay in my collection and I can just keep building up their XP over time. Eventually these cards are going to become really powerful and a very useful addition to fill up some of my squads on match days. I've got a Robertson card here that's got 10.5 XP and even with his 40% reduction like I say he's probably going to be scoring better than quite a few of the rare cards. So these are very useful cards to have in your collection so why don't you grab yourself 13 of these using the link in the description below. Another, another tip as well if you are thinking of signing up to so rare when you pick your favourite teams as part of the sign up process make sure you're picking the best teams in the world even if they, they are not officially your best team. That is because the, the teams that you pick when you sign up to so rare are going to be the players from those teams in terms of the common cards that you receive. Obviously you're going to be receiving 13 common cards so make sure you pick the best teams so you bet, get the best chance of getting some of the best players in terms of the common cards. So that is a little insider tip for you there. So as I say, it's very useful to have these common cards. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today or enter that casual league to get more of these. Build up the XP, then you've got more utility for these cards to use in the SO5 tournaments. Okay, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, each month I'll be doing a monthly giveaway. For the month of March, I'm giving away Rio Tate. To enter, you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. At the end of the month, I'll pick a random video posted in March and random select a comment, and that person will win that month's so rare card. I'll announce the winner right here on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned and ping that notification bell. I'm consider becoming a member of this youtube channel as well more details clicking that join button below you can follow me on twitter instagram and facebook and for more free survey content please check out soroassist.com also consider becoming a patron of Sora Assist for weekly player scouting links to all this good stuff is in the description okay thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon